Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on tree travels algorithms in Java. So here I want to teach you a little bit about uh, pre-order traversal, post-order traversal and in-order traversal, uh, what they are and how to implement them in Java. So first of all, uh, I, I drew here an example uh, tree structure that we'll be using for the examples. And uh, I can explain based on that to you how to uh, how these traversals are expected to work. Uh, we're not going to code it up from scratch because I don't want to waste your uh, time with the boilerplate, but I'll explain all the code. So I created this node class that is very simple. Basically, it's a node class with a string value that is accessible, the left node and the right node. So, for example, if I create a node A, then uh, I would give you value A and I'll assign a left node to be a node B, another node, and right node here G to be yet another node. So hopefully that's simple enough. So let's look uh, how we can construct this tree. So I already, I already wrote this node A equals a new node A, so on and so forth. So let's connect them now. So A left equals B, A right equals G, uh, B left equals C, um, B right equals D, C left equals E, and uh, E right equals F. And this create data function now will return uh, the tree structure you see here on the right. Okay, so let's start with pre-order traversal. So here we're talking about the depth first three traversals. So how they work is that you're expected to go here left, left, left. You cannot go left, so you go right. And then you back up to B. You're going to go to D, back up to A, and go again to G. So that's how the traversal works. But uh, what does that mean that it's pre-order? It means that we're going to print the value or work on the value before we traverse. So let's start with uh, implementing this pre-order traversal. So if uh, n equals null, uh, I just want to return because that means that we don't have uh, we don't have anything. Uh, we, we don't really have a node on that end. Now the travels are part, so I'll be just printing the values and adding some space so the printout looks nice. And uh, then pre order traversal uh, n dot left and pre order traversal n dot right. So let's look at this code quickly. So if n equals null, don't do anything, else you're going to print the value and then you traverse starting from the left side. So it's a recursive algorithm and we're going from left side. So I'll write quickly here uh, that call, but let's, uh, let's manually look for it, what that would do. So imagine you call that on the node A, what happens? Uh, you print A, then you go left, then you're calling it here on node B. So you print B, you go left, you print C, you go left, you print E, you go left, you're passing a null here. So nothing happens. So you're back at this level. You remember you pass null here, so now you're passing the right side, which is F. So you're going to print F and then you're backing up effectively all the way to D and to G. So let's let's run it. Yes, and, and you can see A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, E, F, 
DG as we as we expected here. Okay, uh, so that was the pre-order tra uh, traversal. Now let's quickly implement post order. So what's the difference with post order? Uh, it's pretty simple. The only difference is that uh, rather than going with uh, printing the node straight away, like we did here with ABC, we're going to kind of go to the bottom first and only then start uh, start printing. That's why it's called post order. So you can imagine already that it will be implemented like that. Post order traversal and dot left. So we're traversing still the same way. It's kind of important to, to take a note of that, that we don't really change the way we traverse, we just change the way we print the values. So maybe that will make it simpler for you to think about that. Okay, so again, let's do it by hand. Left, 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 and we're at E, we put left, null, go back, right, okay, F, left, right, they're both null, so then you end up printing F, then you're back at E, you print E, then C on the right has a null, so you print C, and, well, follow up by D, B, G, A. So let's, let's run that and let's see how that works. Okay, perfect. F, E, C, uh, B, D, G, A. I realized I just printed a bit differently. So let's print it again to make it nicer. Okay, F, E, C, B, D, G, A. F, E, C, D, B, G, A. Great. Uh, so the last one, in order traversal, so, well, we, we printed before, we printed after, so the last option is to print in between, and uh, that's called in order traversal. So you're basically printing um, in between the calls here, in between left and write. So let's write that first and then talk about it. So what would that do? Uh, again, to, to really get this one, you need to step it into go step by step here. So left, left, left. And now before we change to the right side, we're going to print. So we're starting with uh, E first, then we're at F. We try to do left, it's null. Then we print F, we're going right, it's null. So you kind of go E, F. Then you go C because uh, you're moving from the left to right here. Then after that, you're going to go with B, D, and uh, followed by AG. So let's run it and let's have a look. So we have E, F, C, B, D, A, G as expected. So these are the standard um, pre-order, post-order and in-order three traversals. Uh, so they're the depth first traversals. I'll make another video about uh, breath first when we kind of traverse like that. A, B, G, C, D, E, F, or kind of something along those lines, but they're, they're not as elegant and I think not as fun to, uh, to talk about. So I decided to start with this one. Hopefully that was uh, useful and uh, thank you for watching.